Are you a team player? This would often a question propping up in an interview. So your three pointer as triangle theory is you can always say sir even if that game is of two player like chess or badminton you can say sir it requires team. Individual brilliance uh, are unnoticed. They stand in isolation because there is always a team player who has either won, won or lost. So I understand the importance of being a team player. Second is even in education while pursuing education, we have always formed a team in terms of assignment, group task, internship, projects, symposium, seminars, workshops, where I realize the importance of what an individual can contribute to a team and what team, what a team is to excel with that contribution from the individuals coming in. Third, the most important point is we all join this world or we are exposed to this world with a lot of dependency. We turn it into independence. One day we become independent also, but we can never, never be satisfied, never exist without the interdependence of people. So you can subtly quote all the three things and endorse to the fact that interdependence is something that we all human beings would ever ever live with. So yes, by going by that, I am a great team player. I have the team spirit and I am a team player. Did you work under pressure? Did you work under pressure any time? Now again, try to try to bring about some relevance, some logic. So the first thing that you can say is, yes, sir, I have always worked under pressure. While playing games in during my childhood days, I have seen that I cannot win all the time. There are, pressu there are pressure situations where games are lost. If we are focusing on the game on course during the process, you are able to focus and win matches or win games. So games have given me that opportunity to learn that how to handle a pressure. Second, there are so many problems in life. Unless we have stayed calm, we cannot handle that problem or find a solution. So small problems have made me realize that stay calm and search for a solution rather than sit on a problem. That is the second pointer. The third pointer is always this time bound objectives because they have uh, stipulated time, then limited resources and you have limited people to work with. The time bound objectives, the time bound objectives make me learn how to be patient enough and be highly focused and calm and achieve the desired result. So I know how to handle the pressure by being focused, being calm and patient. I hope these three pointers will give a lot of sense to answering this particular question. Did you work under pressure any time? You can quote an example and correlate with all the three pointers. That's another way of looking at answering this particular question.